y'all welcome to another vlog i'm still a little sick so bear with me my voice is not great right now because i just woke up and today i am doing a what i eat in a day video i haven't done one of these in a long time because honestly when i was on the carnivore diet i mostly just ate like twice a day and it was just meat and i didn't find that to be very interesting for a what i eat in a day video so now i'd like to do one to share with you what i'm eating to try and maintain my weight after losing 100 pounds on the carnivore diet and transitioning to a normal diet so we're gonna start first thing in the morning when I wake up, I have a cup of coffee. I brewed a pot of Starbucks cinnamon dolce, which is my favorite coffee right now. Although I do have some fall coffees on the way, I can't wait to share with you guys soon. In my coffee, I put one scoop of multi-source collagen that I buy from the vitamin shop. I will link to this down below if you're interested in it. Um, it has five types of food source collagen for healthy hair, skin and nails, joint support and bone health. I'm not sure if it really helps. I take it for the skin benefits, but you know, I'm not getting any younger, so I take it every day. So one scoop of that goes into my coffee cup. And then I pour the coffee on top, which melts the collagen. I'm spilling coffee everywhere because I'm trying to film at the same time. It melts it and you don't even taste if there's anything in there, so I find it's a good way to take it. And then I add two tablespoons of this Horizon Organic Half and Half. I like this brand because the only ingredients are milk and cream. So one tablespoon going in and two tablespoons going in. Then I just stir this all up with my metal straw. And I will enjoy my coffee. This is kind of like my pre-breakfast breakfast. I put this on my little coffee warmer and I enjoy it while I do my morning journaling and also my morning tarot card reading. So I'll see you guys when I get ready for breakfast. Okay y'all, it's about 11 a.m. and I'm finally ready to have my breakfast or my first meal of the day. I'm gonna make some eggs, toast, and oranges. And uh, But first I just wanted to talk to you a minute about my makeup. So I am getting back into all natural products like I used to do about a year ago before all the tragedy struck in my life. And uh, I am wearing nothing but Cary Grand makeup today. So Cary Grand is my favorite makeup brand. It's great for if you have like aging skin. I am not sponsored or anything. It's just a brand that I really love. It's high quality mineral makeup, very natural, doesn't clog your pores, and it looks beautiful on. So I'm wearing Cary Grand Mineral Foundation, Cary Grand Blush, Cary Grand Eyeshadow, and Cary Grand Lip Whip with my own homemade lip gloss over it. Um, and I'm also wearing some e.l.f. putty primer, okay? So I guess I'm not wearing completely Cary Grand. I do still love the e.l.f. putty primer. Um, tomorrow I might try it without and see how it looks, but I just love the glowy kind of finish that it gives me. And I'm trying to really get back into my all natural product routine. I'm doing the same thing with my hair. I don't know if you've noticed it in the last couple videos and live streams, but it's looking much thicker, much shinier. And that's because I'm using my homemade shampoo, homemade uh, hair rinse. And I'm also putting lavender and rosemary oil in my hair twice a day, every day, and brushing it through with a boar bristle brush. Boar bristle Boar bristle brush. Jesus, that's hard to say. Say that 10 times fast. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. If you are interested in the Cary Grand makeup, right now they are having their yearly 20% off sale. They only do this once a year, so it's a really good time to go and check out their products and get like some sample packs and stuff for 20% off. So um, I'll put a link down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. Once again, not sponsored or anything. It's just a brand that I really love and like to share with people, especially if you are a lady who is approaching middle age or 40 plus, it is a really good makeup brand. That's all I wanna say. I just wanna spread the word out there. Okay, so now back to what we're actually here for in this video, the breakfast. So I am gonna start with scrambled eggs. Um, I am using these happy e organic free range happy eggs because these are the eggs that my boyfriend brought over and I have these left over. So I'm gonna use these before I open my Vital Farms eggs. So I'm gonna get out my uh, skillet, which I think is in the dishwasher. I'm just gonna use my small nonstick skillet to cook these eggs. And I'm gonna cook them in a half tablespoon of butter. And to make sure that I get the measurement right, I'm actually gonna weigh this out in grams. I'm gonna put my skillet directly onto my scale. Oh my gosh, if I can get it to balance. Uh, turn it on so that it's zeroed out. Then I'm going to cut off what I think is about a half tablespoon of butter according to the marking lines on the package. And then we're going to throw it in the pan and see how much it weighs. Um, oh, I need, to, I need to turn it to grams. So eight grams 
a little bit over a half tablespoon, which would be seven grams. That's fine. I'm just gonna put that in chronometer as eight grams of butter. So this is how I'm keeping up with my calories and everything I eat in a day. I've already planned out my day's meals for today and put everything in chronometer, but I will go back and adjust the grams and stuff as I need to. I also wanna have toast with my eggs and I do not own a toaster at this point. I am gonna go buy one tomorrow because I've realized that I've needed one for a while, even when I wasn't eating bread when my boyfriend comes over so he can toast things. Um, so I'm gonna go buy a cheap toaster tomorrow at Walmart, but for now we're gonna have to toast in the oven under the broil setting. That's the only setting on my oven that actually works is broil, so I can make toast at least. So I wanna go ahead and start this preheating um, and I just turn it to broil and then turn it as far, that's as far as my oven thing will turn. That's what's wrong with it. It won't go any further. The only thing it'll do is turn on to broil. So I have to get that fixed, but I wanna get my apartment cleaned up first before I call my landlord. For now, I'm making do and it's working okay. So I just wanna get the oven preheated because last time I made the eggs first and then they were cold by the time I got the toast done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a measuring cup and I'm gonna crack two eggs inside and mix them up. I'm also gonna turn the heat onto medium. One. Oh no, I got a little shell in there. I thought I did a good job. Let me fish it out. Okay, it was a big piece, it wasn't too hard. And two. And then I'm gonna get a little whisk and just whisk these up. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to these um, since I'm only using half tablespoon of salted butter. Um, that's not a ton of salt. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, not much, and some black pepper, because I really like black pepper in my eggs. I'm gonna mix this all up together, and then as soon as the butter is melted, we are gonna start cooking the eggs. That sizzling sound is the butter melting in the pan right now. And I also need to go ahead and get my bread out and get it ready. I am having a slice of Dave's Killer Thin Sliced Good Seed Bread. Once again, the power seed is my favorite, but they were out. So I had to substitute for the good seed and you can see it's all just chock full of seeds and grains. It's very tasty. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, just like this. I'm gonna put it right under that heating element and that will toast it. I just have to be careful not to burn it and make sure to flip it in time. And now I'm gonna pour the eggs in the skillet with the melted butter and we're gonna cook those up and make scrambled eggs, toast. And the last thing I have to do is to uh, weigh out my orange slices or my mandarin slices. So this only takes a couple of minutes to cook, which is why I like to start the toast first. I probably should have started the toast even earlier. Now that the eggs are just about done cooking, I'm gonna take them off the heat to finish cooking in the pan while we go measure out our orange. All right, I'm measuring out my uh, mandarin orange that I've peeled and it is 50 grams of mandarin orange. I'm gonna put that in chronometer. Time to take out the toast. Don't burn my fingers. Ouch, 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 ouch. Put it on the plate. Now just gonna put the eggs on the plate with my toast and my orange. And that is gonna be my breakfast this morning, y'all. Oh my God, I just dropped a whole bunch of egg on the floor because I was looking at the camera. Oh well, the dogs get a treat, I guess. There you go, pups, eat it up. So I have a little less than two eggs there, dang it. I was trying to make sure I had the plate in the frame and I just spilled eggs everywhere. All right, well, close enough. Anyway, there's my breakfast. I'm having my toast dry because I like to put my egg on top of it and I don't want to use the extra calories on butter since it's already gonna be kind of buttery from the eggs. Yum, 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 I'm about to eat my breakfast. And uh, so my boyfriend and I are going to see The Midnight, which is one of my favorite bands ever. They used to be my number one favorite band, but now I think they're number four, but still up there. I still love them. Um, this will be my third time to see them live and we're going to see them next week in Dallas. He's never really listened to them before. So he texted me, he was like, they sound like Kenny G meets Synthwave. <laughs> and I'm like, kind of, I guess, because there's a saxophone in there. So I'm like telling him my favorite songs that he needs to listen to and stuff. I think it's so sweet that he's even like showing an interest in like trying to listen to them before we go. That's really sweet to me. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Okay, so I just put my egg on top of my toes like this. And then I'll just eat my little orange slices. I really, really missed um, toast. Like wheat toast is so good to me. Um, somebody commented that 
American bread is really spongy and I should try European bread? Well, I would love to, but I'm not in Europe. I'm, a, I'm in America, so I can only get the best possible bread I can get in America. But I can tell you that Dave's Killer Bread is not like that spongy wonder bread. I'm like that cheap American bread, which I have eaten most of my life. No, no, you know, disrespect to that bread or anything, but I prefer like a hearty, grainy, like really rustic kind of bread, maybe like more like a European bread. But you know, we can only do the best we can do here. I, I, I get the best possible bread I can get. All right, y'all, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I will see you back here for lunch. All right, I'm back again and it's lunchtime. So for lunch today, I'm gonna make something similar to what I made in my last vlog, which is like an adult Lunchable, just a little bit different than last time. So I'm gonna start with slicing up some ham and I'm gonna do two ounces of ham today. And I'm just gonna cut it up into little squares. I'm gonna start with just two strips here um, that I can eat on my crackers. And I'm gonna weigh this out over here on my food scale. I need to put the plate on, zero it out, and then we'll weigh this ham till we get to two ounces. 1.95 ounces is close enough, so that's the ham I'm gonna have. Oops, actually I was wrong. I just looked at my chronometer and it was supposed to be three ounces of ham. So I'm gonna do one more little strip here and see if we can get it up to three ounces. Seems like a lot of ham, but ham is very lean. 2.95, which is close enough. Next, I'm gonna slice up some of this pepper jack cheese, one ounce of pepper jack cheese. And I'm gonna try to do thin slices because last time I did like three big thick slices and I would rather have more thin slices, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try about three slices and weigh that and see where we're at. 0.7, so I could probably do one or two more thin slices. All right, exactly one ounce of cheese. So there's our ham and cheese so far. And then finally, I'm gonna chop up this gala apple, my favorite kind of apples. And it is apple season. So the apples are really good right now. And I just cut mine into quarters. Oops, I almost cut myself, that was dangerous. That, okay, I am probably going to cut myself one day doing that and then I just cut the core out. I really wanna get another one of the little apple quarters slash apple slicers that I used to have at my old house. Um, I'm gonna look into getting one of those because it just makes it so much easier. But right now, this is kinda how I have to do it. So I'm gonna, once I get all this chopped up, I'm gonna weigh the apple um, so I can put the exact grams in chronometer. All right, 148 grams of apple on my plate. And then finally, the last thing I'm gonna add are these back to nature wheat crackers, stone ground wheat crackers. These are my favorite crackers. And I'm gonna add six of these to the plate. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there is my healthy adult lunchable lunch. So I like to make a little cracker sandwich. So I just take a cracker, put a couple pieces of ham, and a little piece of cheese on top and just eat it like that, it's delicious. All right, y'all, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch here and I will see you when it's time for dinner. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now and I am stopping to make myself an electrolyte drink. I've been working on getting some chores done this afternoon and I feel really thirsty, so I'm gonna make myself um, one of these Element um, Citrus Salt Electrolyte Drinks. These are really good if you're on low carb keto carnivore diet, but I drink them even when I'm on a regular diet because it just helps me get a little bit more magnesium and potassium in my diet. If you're interested in these, there's a link down in the description box. If you use my link, you can get a free uh, sample pack when you buy a box. Um, so check that out if you want. The citrus salt is really the only flavor that I like. I got the sample pack and tried all the different flavors and they have a lot of different flavors. But um, I always just stick with the citrus salt, tried and true. And they come in these little packs like this so they're, you don't have to measure anything. They're really easy to use. So I'm gonna make this in my skull tumbler and I just pour this in here with some ice and fill it up with water. Oh, and also I forgot to say that I also took a multivitamin today. Uh, these one a day prenatals are what I've been taking lately. I am not trying to get pregnant or anything. I just take these because they're soft gels and they include iron, calcium, and DHA. So I took one of these as well. Um, with my lunch. Now I am gonna be, be making dinner here in a little while. Um, I don't know when because I think my boyfriend's coming over this afternoon to, to hang out. And I don't know if I'm gonna make dinner for both of us or after he leaves or what, but I am definitely going to be making dinner for this vlog sometime tonight. So I'll see you back then. It's about 5 p.m. now. My boyfriend's gonna be over here in about 30 minutes. So I wanna get this wrapped up before he gets here. What I'm gonna make tonight is I have leftover chicken breast from the chicken that I made in the air fryer 
uh, on my last live stream. So I have two already cooked chicken breasts that I'm gonna have. I was gonna use these in pasta, but I decided just to eat them as they are. Um, they're a little dry to use in my pasta. I'm gonna make that another time. So instead, I'm just gonna have chicken breast with broccoli, steamed broccoli, and then uh, roasted potatoes in the air fryer. I bought these honey gold bite-sized potatoes at Walmart. This is one and a half pounds. I'm gonna wash them and chop them in half, and then we are gonna season them with olive oil and some seasonings and put them in the air fryer. I'm gonna pour these into this colander and then just spray them off with cold water. Make sure they're nice and clean. Then I'm gonna dry them with paper towels before we slice them in half. So I am just gonna cut each of these in half like this and throw them into a bowl. And once I get them all done, I'm gonna coat them with olive oil and seasonings. I like these little mini potatoes because they are so easy to work with, so easy to cut. Oops, <laughs> cut that one a little too small. They're just a lot easier in my opinion to chop than like a big um, Yukon Gold or Russet or something. So I like these little bite-sized potatoes. I also like them for putting in a pot roast. And sometimes I'll get the red ones or even the medleys. They have a lot of different varieties at my Walmart. But um, I like these little yellow ones the best, I think. Here they are all sliced up in the bowl. Now for this entire uh, 24 ounces of potatoes, I'm gonna use three tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm just gonna drizzle this over for now. We're gonna mix this up really well. There's two tablespoons and three tablespoons. Now I'm gonna do about a half teaspoon of salt. If I can get it out of this container. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And about a half teaspoon of garlic powder. If I had Italian seasoning, I would add that, but I don't. And then I'm just gonna do like a little dash more salt. And then I'm just gonna use my hands to mix this up because I feel like that works the best. You can really get it mixed up well. And yes, I washed my hands, even though I'm probably gonna be the only one eating this. Uh, I don't know if my boyfriend's gonna eat any or not when he gets here, but this is definitely more than I'm gonna be able to eat. This is like six portions or something. But we're gonna mix this up really good with the seasonings, olive oil, and then I'm gonna get it in the air fryer. We're gonna air fry it, air fry it. Did I say air fryer it? Air fry it at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes stir and then about 10 minutes more. All right, I'm gonna pour these into the air fryer and spread them out as evenly as I can. Okay, that looks pretty good, close enough. And then I'm gonna set them to air fry. Oops, air fry at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and I'm gonna turn them 10 minutes through. And now that I have those going, I'm gonna go touch up my makeup, change my clothes, brush my hair, and just freshen up before he gets here. All right, y'all, it's been 10 minutes. Actually, it's been 11 minutes. Let's see how they look. Oh my God, they smell fantastic. They're not quite done, so I am gonna stir them and kind of flip them over using a spatula. I'm really, I'm not gonna try too hard to like flip them. I'm just gonna kind of stir them around a little bit, shake it up a little bit, if you will and uh, make sure they're all still kind of evenly distributed here. Or not, at least right, not right on top of each other anyway. Okay, hopefully that helps. They're gonna cook for nine more minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna steam this broccoli in the microwave. So I'm just gonna place the whole bag in there. This is a microwavable bag and cook it for like six minutes. Straight in we go, close the door. Um, let me clear that and hit six and hopefully those will be nicely steamed in six minutes. All right, the timer just went off. So let's see how they look. Oh my goodness, y'all. They look fantastic. I hope they're done. Some of them look more done than others, but I'm going to call it good. All right, I'm having 2.7 ounces of chicken breast. All right, and then I'm having 3.4 ounces of roasted potatoes and then 85 grams of broccoli. So that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put a little salt on my broccoli. 
maybe like a quarter tablespoon of butter on it. And that's gonna be my dinner. And I just realized I didn't heat up the chicken. Okay, great. So I'm gonna heat it up on a separate plate and then I'm gonna eat this. So that's pretty much everything I'm gonna eat today. I might have some yogurt or something later and if I do, I'll see you guys back then. If okay, not. I'm making my dessert and I forgot to film it this far, but I have 40 grams of frozen blueberries, three ounces of Greek yogurt plain, a tablespoon or seven grams of uh, chopped pecans, and I'm about to add one teaspoon of honey, and that's gonna be my dessert. And then I also had three shots of bourbon. Okay, love you, bye. Just kidding, I'm gonna show you put me putting the uh, honey on. So I'm at 1500 calories for the day, which is a little more than I probably should have eaten, but it, it's enough for me to maintain my weight, so I'm happy with that. Um, hopefully next week I can add some exercise in so 1500 won't seem like so much. Remember that I am only 5 foot 1 and only weigh 132 pounds, so 1500 calories is quite a lot for me. Okay, I'm going to have my little yogurt dessert and go to bed and that's all I am going to be eating today. Um, like I said, I did have three shots of bourbon. It's the first time I have had anything to drink in nine days, so pretty proud of myself there. I'm probably going to try to stay somewhere between 13 and 1500 calories a day if I can, including alcohol, which is harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm going to do this for a week and just see how my body adapts to this diet, see if I gain weight, lose weight, what happens, and I'll keep you guys updated and let you know. If it turns out I'm still gaining weight eating this way, then I'll probably return to low carb. But for now, I'm going to try to stick to a normal diet with just restricting calories. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!